Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review a bin bond. There is no reference number, so I'll just say bin bond. Let's start off with the wrist check. I'm wearing a Carju 2299, and Grogu is wearing my Sanda 1108. Grogu asked to borrow that Sanda 1108. I said, sure. He said, thank you very much. All right, let's take a look at the watch. Comes in this box, has a cleaning cloth, and here it is. This is the first bin bond on my channel. I had never heard of this brand, and one of my channel specialties is reviewing the ultra affordable AliExpress brands and seeing if they are decent value for the money. Keeping in mind that is it is at a price point where you're not going to get solid stainless steel. This bin bond is an homage to the ever popular AP Royal Oak with the octagon shaped bezel with screws in it. A stainless steel AP automatic chronograph is $36,000. This one costs $17,000. So you're getting a Chinese made quartz with a small chronograph hand. The watch is 43.4 millimeters if you measure the flats of the bezel, 45.2 if you measure at the corners. It's 48.1 lug to lug, 12.1 millimeters thick, and the lug width does not apply because of the integrated bracelet, but it's 25.5 millimeters at the end links, and it weighs 134 grams on the supplied bracelet with th three links removed. This watch is a chrome plated alloy, but it looks like they are able to do brush marks in it, which they usually don't do then these little screws they don't all line up so maybe they're actually real screws i don't know i didn't want to take a screwdriver and unscrew them and risk losing them but regardless you're never gonna if they are real screws you're never gonna undo it there then we have a dial with that little checkerboard marks And then it says bin bond quartz on top and no mention of water resistance you just get the basic 30 then we have stick hands that are loomed and the running second hand is not loomed and then the this being a cheap chronograph the chronograph hand is the small sub dial on the bottom Go ahead and press it. There you go. It only ticks once a second, and there is no sub-second indicator. But at least there's no tachymeter. So I really hate it when you have the small chronograph hand and a tachymeter on on the bezel. So let's go ahead and stop it, reset it, and this being a quartz and not a mecha quartz, you get a fast rewind and not an instant snapback. The right subdial is a 24 hour indicator. And as you can see, it's not a moon phase. It is a sun in the day, moon at night. It's There's no moon phase to this at all. That would be way beyond the price point of this watch. Then the left subdial is a minute indicator for the chronograph. Then we have a date at the 4.30. A lot of people hate dates on chronographs because they think they ruin the looks. I'm perfectly fine with that date. And uh, 4.30, where else are you going to put it? Although I saw a watch recently. The new Tag Hoyers put the... There's some that put the date at the 12, which is a pretty good place for it because it's not in the way of anything. The crown is a hexagon shape, which is uh, rare on a AP Royal Oak homage at this price range. They're usually just round, so that's kind of a nice. Then you also have the hexagon shape pushers, but these hexagons are fake. These are not screw down. That's just for show. And then we have the crown action. I've seen looser. It doesn't seem too bad. And let's see. Let's go to set it. I was having good luck with it earlier. Oh, wow. Now it jumped like crazy. Here, let's try it again. But this time I'll, I'll hold it. 
Okay, let's try it again, and this time we'll hold it. No, oh, it jumps. All right, so that's a strike against it. But it does look like the second hand hits the marks, so if you have the second hand OCD, this one should be okay for you. Then the case, of course, is a plated alloy. This is not real steel. You're not going to get steel for under 20 bucks, that's for sure. But it's a nice looking case. Then let's look at the case back. All right, they don't even put any fake screw stuff because you're not going to get a screwed on case back at this price point either. And it's just a 30 meter watch anyway. And you can see the little part for the pry bar right there. Then it says base metal bezel. I would assume the whole watch is base metal other than the case back. Then water resistant stainless steel back. 30 meters of course. Then underneath the watch I don't know the movement. It's cheap. It's quartz. It's Chinese. Then the bracelet is hollow and you can really tell it's hollow when you feel it and it has push pin adjusters not screw pins I'm perfectly happy with push pins I was wearing that Pug Design 1734 the other day and two of the screw pins came out on me and I only found one so I'm going to have to hopefully have one that matches in my screw pin kit otherwise I'm going to have to go buy one before I sell it Then we have a butterfly clasp as a push button, but it's a unidirectional clasp because you got this little square here, although the square is not signed. Of course, Bimbon doesn't seem to, oh, it does have a logo. So yeah, they should have signed it if they were going to put the square there. Otherwise, why put the square there? And of course, the, the links do not fully articulate. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this too. I noticed this. Uh, look at that. Our hands lined up, but the minute hands is like 15 minutes short. See? So the minute hand is about 15 minutes out of alignment. And I'm pretty sure it's the minute hand because the hour hand on the 24-hour dial seems to line up with the hour hand here. Which is fine. So I think it's the minute hand that's out of alignment. And I don't know if they're all going to be like that. I doubt it. I just probably got a bad one. But that's just quality control for you when you, you have uh, watches in this price range. Another thing I noticed too is when you go to pull the crown to hack it. See, it didn't hack. You got to you gotta pull hard. See, I pulled it all the way out. It's still ticking. And so you got to pull it really hard to get it to hack. Here's the watch and my seven and a half inch wrist. It's a big watch, but it wears pretty nice. And it's fairly heavy for a hollow link chrome plated watch too, 134 grams. That's not super heavy, but a lot of times you'll get a chrome plated hollow link bracelet watch and they'll be about a hundred grams. So yeah. It's got some heft to it. And it looks nice. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a cheap watch. It's not going to look like the real thing. But I've uh, definitely seen worse and it's I've definitely had watches that wore a lot worse. It wears pretty good. And I had to remove three links. So, you should be able to wear this if you have an eight and a half, no problem. Here we are in the loom room. It's doubtful that we will get good loom on a $17 watch, but let's see if we get decent or even so-so loom. As we speed up the time, we see that the loom is just plain bad. This is not good loom at all. Not even so-so, not even decent. What do I like about this watch? Well, I do like the dial. I think they did a pretty good job with it. And I like the lug to lug is nice and short, so it makes a big watch like this wear, wear nice. And that's another thing I like. It wears nice. 
What are my gripes and groans? Misaligned minute hand. Uh, by 15 minutes, no less. And this hollow link bracelet just feels cheap. And it has really bad loom. And sometimes you really have to yank on the crown to hack it. Do I recommend this watch? Not sure if they're all like this, but I have to review the one I have. And I can't recommend a watch this much out of alignment. So, no. But then again, if you like the looks of it and you want it, you can take your chances. You could always return it. I don't usually return my watches that I get to review. But if you yours is out of alignment, you might be able to return it. I don't know how well that works. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Bin Bond. No reference. And I will be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.